the end of October 2022, it was reported that Giselle Bunchen had purchased a modest and chic cottage in a small oceanside town near Miami Beach for about $1.3 million. However, it's said that Giselle actually bought it about nine months ago. More specifically, a few weeks before her ex-husband Tom Brady decided to make his NFL comeback with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. While the former couple only recently finalized their divorce, they've had very public marriage issues for about a year, and it was said that Giselle had been living separate from Tom for a handful of months. Now, it seems that the humble cottage property the supermodel was living in will be kept as perhaps a guest house, office, or bonus abode, because now she's paid over $11 million for a nearby mansion. Giselle's new estate is just across the waterway from her ex Tom's unfinished $27 million Miami mega mansion, and her new house offers about 6,000 square feet of space, an open plan layout, and sits right on the water. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. We'll kick things off by looking at Giselle Bunchen's more humble abode in Florida, which she reportedly bought back in the early months of 2022. While it was only revealed recently, it said that the supermodel wasn't actually living with Tom for quite a while, and she was likely living in this home with the kids as well as splitting their time at the New York City apartment. It said that Giselle quietly bought this property for $1.3 million about two weeks prior to her ex-husband Tom deciding to make an NFL comeback with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after formerly retiring. Her cottage style home is located in a small waterside town near Miami Beach called Surfside that sits right on the Atlantic Ocean and it's a charming, mainly residential beach community. Giselle's property is described as an art deco style cottage and it was built back in 1940, but completely renovated and modernized since then. Outside the house consists of stucco and a terracotta roof, while there's an abundance of fresh white walls throughout the interior spaces. It's said that Giselle was also giving the home her own makeover recently, and we have yet to see what she's done with the 1,540 square feet of living space inside. The modestly sized home offers up three bedrooms and and three bathrooms as well as a handful of light filled spaces with hardwood flooring underfoot. There is a brick driveway, petite lawn and steps leading to the front door while inside the foyer steps down into a great room which maximizes the space with an open plan style. This great room is spacious combining a living room, dining room and kitchen. The living room boasts a faux brick fireplace painted the same shade of white as the walls while the dining area and kitchen are contemporary in style. The cooking space is almost all white, but offers high-end stainless steel appliances, as well as an oversized marble island with snack bar style seating. There are also glass sliders here, which lead out to an outdoor dining patio and backyard. You can also see that our humble home has a stylish master suite with beamed white ceilings and an impressive attached bath, featuring double vanities and a glass enclosed shower stall. However, there really isn't much more to this place than that which may come as a shock considering Giselle's impressive net worth and the usual size of her luxury mansions. Something tells me that this property will soon serve as a guest or staff quarters, and even more so now since it's been revealed that she upgraded to a nearby mega mansion that definitely seems more her style. Just this November 2022, Giselle's new Florida home was revealed, and it's in the same Surfside neighborhood as the cottage we just checked out. Furthermore, her new mansion is a short boat ride from her ex-husband Tom Brady's unfinished Miami Beach mega mansion. As we can see, it's just across the waterway from the Indian Creek Country Club community known as Billionaire Bunker, where his unfinished property is located. This home is more Giselle's size and costs $11.5 million, while reports show she has no mortgage on the property. She snagged it at that discounted price nearly days before her divorce from Brady was finalized in early October. So we can assume the Miami area cottage is just going to be a mini office space, guest quarters, or bonus property. But she certainly can afford it. Built in 1981 and updated since, Giselle's mansion is said to feature 6,600 square feet of space, while some other sources claim it's not quite as big. Either way, from photos, we can tell it's certainly mansion-sized and also boasts five bedrooms and seven bathrooms throughout. Walking 
Walking up to the front of the home, there's a large brick paved motor court along with nearly half an acre of property, all of which is on a private cul-de-sac. Her estate was designed by Miami architect Barry Sugarman and is described as quote unquote architecturally unique, boasting a stone accented exterior and two levels of living space inside. Of course, the place is stacked with all of the amenities needed for a celebrity, including a theater, playrooms for the kids and more. Walking in Giselle's new home, you'll be welcomed into the open plan living spaces, including more than one family room, dining room, as well as a kitchen, all of which offer high ceilings. One of the living rooms boasts a large stone fireplace on one wall, whereas the kitchen has some simple wooden cabinets and tiled flooring underfoot. In fact, considering the kitchen looks slightly less modern than some of the other rooms in the mansion, I have a feeling that Giselle will be giving it a makeover soon. However, it does provide two islands, fairly new stainless steel appliances, as well as easy access to the outdoor spaces via glass sliders. Large windows and terraces throughout offer amazing views of the waterway and Indian Creek Island too. Also on the main floor sits Giselle's new master suite, which appears to be one of the more glamorous spaces in the mansion, offering polished marble flooring underfoot, as well as a corner location with two walls of windows and glass doors, leading you right out to the water's edge and the swimming pool. Her master retreat also boasts a chandelier and dual ensuite baths, one with two vanities. Other features in her home include a glass-lined office, home gym, movie theater, and playroom for her kids. Moving outside, the supermodel's new estate has a free-form pool and surrounding terrace to lounge or entertain, as well as two-car garage and 92 feet of water frontage with a dock. While Giselle is moving into that Florida mansion, it's also said that during her separation from Brady, she was spending plenty of time living in their New York City apartment as well. Last year in 2021, news broke that the ex-couple actually sold one of their Manhattan apartments for a whopping $36.8 million, located in the upscale Tribeca neighborhood. Of course, having sold this place, we know it couldn't be the one Giselle was living in during their split. But property records show that they maintained another smaller unit in the same building, but there isn't too much information on that one. Either way, the one which Giselle and Tom sold for that insane price tag was a condo featuring five bedrooms and features like a 1900 square foot terrace. The Robert A.M. Stern designed buildings is beloved by celebrities because among the amazing amenities, there's also a private drive-in entry and it's marketed as quote unquote paparazzi proof. The apartment that the former couple sold was located on the 12th floor of the building, while the smaller one which Giselle kept is just below on the 11th floor. The apartment that was sold offered views of the Hudson River as well as a total of 4,647 square feet of living space. The corner living room had 31 foot high ceilings with wraparound walls of glass showing off the amazing views, as well as bonuses like a fireplace and detached formal dining room. The eating kitchen boasted marble counters, designer appliances, and a wine fridge also opening up to the family room. Giselle and Tom paid over $25 million for the unit in 2018, but still made a nice profit on the sale of it since then. There was also a massive master suite with two walk-in closets and ensuite bath, while all other guest or family rooms had their own bathrooms too. Other bonuses included a private elevator landing, entry foyer, separate service entrance, and library, which could even be used as another bedroom if needed. Double doors located in the family room lead out to the sprawling private terrace, which also had a built-in grilling station and sink. While Giselle's apartment on the 11th floor might not be as large as this one, she still has access to the same upscale amount amenities that the building offers. Aside from that paparazzi proof entrance, residents have access to everything from an 82 foot swimming pool, fitness center, yoga and Pilates studios, a library and a full sized squash court. There's also a private courtyard, a games room and the wellness level where the swimming pool is further has a hot and cold plunge pools, a sauna and a steam room. This doesn't include all of the other services like top notch concierge, and much more. Well, I think we can see that Giselle Bunchen is doing just fine since her split from Tom Brady, but that can be expected from her success. We'll just have to wait and see if she adds anything else to her property portfolio.
portfolio or fixes up her new Florida mansion at all. But for today, that'll bring this house tour to a close. Before we go, answer this question. If you had your pick of any luxury property across the country, would you choose to stay across the way from your ex or move far away as possible? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, as well as what you liked or didn't like about Giselle's properties. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.